What is up people, this is Vyas HQ and today we're gonna go onto the hardware side of the Raspberry Pi and take a look at an ADC to get real value creators. The ADC used here is the ADS1115. It is a 16-bit ADC and communicates with the Raspberry Pi using the ASCII communication bus. Let's start by updating the Raspberry Pi first and let's take a look at the Adafruit website which I referred. I'll link it down in the description. So this site gives up and gives all the information about the ADC required or about the ADC that we are going to use and other ADCs as well. It has the library which we are going to install later in the video and also we are going to use it to write a custom code for it. Everything is mentioned in detail onto the website. So please check it out. There is an other ADC as well which is the MCP3008. It is, a, it is an 8 channel ADC but has a lower resolution when compared to the ADC which we are using. The main function of an ADC is to get the input values from the from its channels and convert it into digital values and transmit it over a data bus or a communication bus. Next, let's install the libraries from the given commands. Each of them will be listed down in the description so please go down and copy and paste them. As I already have the libraries installed, I'll I'll skip the installation part and dive right into the example. The example folder is also linked in the description so this has a basic test code for the ADC it has all the required information the gains and all the gain is important on the on the ADC if the correct gain range is not set then it then there's a chance that you might blow up a channel or the ADC itself everything is given there you can just read through it Let's run it. The table shown is the values of the ADC. Now for the setup, I connected a ribbon cable from the Raspberry Pi onto a breadboard. The ADC is connected onto the breadboard as well as a potentiometer for the analog value. There are four main pins, VCC, ground, SCL and SDA. SCL and SDA for the I2C uh, communication and VCC is supplied with 3.3 volts from the Raspberry Pi and ground from the Raspberry Pi. The potentiometer is connected to 3.3 volts and the ground. So the values shown are onto the channel 0 because the potentiometer was connected to ch channel A0. Upon rotating the potentiometer as shown, it can be seen that the values are changing from 0 or 1 to about 26,000 and some value as seen on the full range of the potentiometer that is from 0 volts to 3.3 volts now for this part we're going to write a custom script but first we're going to understand what the the import ADS, Adafruit ADS 1x15 is the import code, code for the library the next line should be the uh, should be assigning a variable to the ADC and selecting the correct ADC, which could be the ADS1115 or the ADS1105. Next, we set the gain according to the table given on the website. And the last thing that that is to get the value from the ADC 
we just assign the variable equal to ADC dot read ADC I comma gain equal to gain, where I stands for the ADC channel, which is from zero to three. The script I'll be showing here is a custom script which I wrote for a project of mine, which would be coming in the form of a video in the future. What I wanted, what I did was connected four potentiometers to the four different channels, and connected a GPIO to a switch for the fifth channel. The gain is set to one because I'll be using 3.3 volts all over. This script has the UDP port for transmission of data, which I'll be making a video later on. So that is it people, thank you for watching this video, like it or dislike it, leave a comment down below, share it, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time, ta-da!